So I bought a Traxxas. And anyone who's watched my channel knows I'm not a huge Traxxas fan just because of what they did to Arma. Because the Traxxas, we no longer have the Arma Nero, which is an awesome truck. But anyway, so I wanted something a little different than what I got because I'm building a huge track behind my shop, so I wanted something cool, you know. And everybody raved about the UDR, and I gotta admit, it looks sweet. It's an awesome looking truck. So I was like, alright, you know what, I'll give Traxxas another try. And because that whole Traxxas armor thing's kind of just political anyway, but it still affects me and the rest of the RC community because we lost an awesome truck, the Nero, because of it. But that's whatever. So anyway, I bought this truck, I bought two brand new batteries for it from my local hobby store. And I wanted to do a running video, but I plugged the batteries in and after about 10 feet it did this. So this is what it's doing when I hit the throttle, forward or reverse. The truck doesn't go anywhere. And then that right, right there starts blinking, so I don't know what's up with that, but... I called Traxxas. And Traxxas said, call the place you got it from because you just bought it. They'll either exchange it or figure out how to make it right. And the place I bought it from, when I called, said that, you know, tough luck. You know, call Traxxas. You're on your own, it's a used truck now, we can't help you. So I was kind of disappointed there because I spent a ton of money at that place, but that's whatever too. So I called Traxxas back and they say, okay, you're using non-Traxxas batteries, that's a problem. So I'll go buy the Traxxas battery and charger combo, came with the two 3S's and then the charger, that was another $200. Fully charged batteries, same thing. So I called Traxxas back and I was like, listen, the ESC is a problem. And he's like, uh, how do you know? Because when you call, they don't know if you're a beginner, novice, or an expert. So when he's like, well, how do you know? I have a Cloudbuster, original, and re-release. So then once he heard that, he knew I knew what I was doing. So he was just like, well, the only thing you could do is send us a truck back, we'll fix it, and send it back to you, which is cool. They're going to stand by it, but... Problem is, this thing's expensive to ship, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but if anybody has any tips on how to get this thing working, I'd appreciate it, but until then, I just figure out what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll buy some aftermarket electronics. As I've had bad luck with tracks electronics. I had two X-Maxes that did something similar to this, and now this one. But i got to say, the TRX-4 has been awesome. I can't take that away from tracks. TRX-4 has been an amazing truck. So anyway, take care, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.